and today we have a full body, body weight strength workout. Every exercise will be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest. During those 15 seconds, I'll tell you exactly what the next movement is. So let's get started. Let's get warmed up real quick and yeah, rawr. All right guys, let's start it out nice and easy. Feet out wide, we're gonna sink down side to side. So we're getting those abductors, those adductors, also known as your inner and outer thighs, as well as your quads and really warming up those hips. So, all in all, a lot of lower body stuff right now. <laughs> Three, two, one, keep those feet out wide, arms out, and we're gonna kick across that body. And we're warming up that core, but we get a nice stretch for those hamstrings. So really think about exhaling as you kick across. Now, if you want to during this workout, you are more than welcome to add weights if you have them available. I just wanted to make this workout available to a lot more of you who I know who are stuck at home still. So, keep going. Three, two, one. All right. So, from here, big inhale, arms up. Exhale, swoop down, legs straight. Inhale, draw up halfway. Exhale, come down. Let's cycle through that again. Inhale. So this is half sun salutation from yoga. Bring it up, flat back. Exhale, come down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, swoop down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, come down. One more, big inhale. Exhale, swoop it. Inhale, bring it up, flat back. Exhale, come down and slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Nice job. Go ahead, roll up the shoulders. Getting those shoulders nice and warm. Three, two, one, and crisscross. So open up that chest, squeeze that back. We're warming that back up as we get to open up those front of the shoulders and those chest muscles. Three, two, one. All right, from here, we're gonna walk down into a plank position. Walk, walk, walk. <laughs> And hands under the shoulders, go ahead, press into down dog, and then bring it back into plank. And keep cycling through. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, bring it forward. Keep it going, guys. Getting those shoulders nice and warm as the rest of our body. Let's go two more. Last one. And come down to those knees. We're gonna warm up the wrist. So if you're not used to this, this might seem a little strange to you, okay? So from here, we're gonna keep our arms straight. You're gonna rock forward. And again, we're getting those wrists. This has really, really helped me to prevent any kind of wrist pain when I do some of these movements, like when we're in plank and when I'm doing like my movement flow kind of stuff. And ninja work. So it's very, very important to get these kinds of stretches in, even though it seems very minimal. And go ahead, flip it around, so now you can see my tattoos. See, they're pretty cool, right? And then lean back. So instead of pulsing, just lean back. You should feel that all right here. Ooh, breathe. If that's too intense for you, you can always pull like this, one side at a time, or you can bring your knees closer to you, and that'll make it a little bit less intense. Three, Two, one, and some wrist circles here. Wrist circles. If you work at a desk and you have a lot of like typing and stuff that you need to do or a lot of writing, this these are really, really nice to add into your routine. Ooh, yeah. It helps with like elbow pain as well. Three, two, one, one more. Come out like a seal and move side to side. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Three, two, one, and let's bring it back up. We're gonna do some alternating back lunges. Keep your back nice and flat, keep your chest up. We're almost done warming up. It's a real quick one, and then we're gonna get right into that workout. Yeah, oh yeah. Give it up, guys. Let's go two more. Last one, and last few movements. Stabilize on that right leg. We're gonna do some swivels. You wanna think about keeping your core strong and feel free to move your arms around, okay, to find that stability. Try not to curl the toes. We are warming up those stabilizers. Ooh, baby. Because we're gonna be stabilizing right away when we get started. Three, two, one, and switch. 
Remember, if you want a longer workout, you can always skip this warm up after you complete it one time through and then get right into the actual workout. Let's go for three, two, one more. One, shaky, shaky, and let's get started. All right, it's 15 seconds, first movement. You're gonna step to the side with that left foot. From here, you're gonna sink down into that side lunge, chest up, back flat, balance, tiptoe. Three, two, one. All right, so that's stability, that's calf work, that's all that funness. Side lunge, stabilize. Three, two, one, and come down. Keep standing on that same leg. Stabilize, three, two, one, and keep it going. I'm just showing you different angles, you don't need to switch. Remember which leg that you are stepping to the side with. So we're getting, again, abductors, adductors, we're getting those glutes, we're getting the calves here, and we're working our stability. If stability is not your strong point, you can always use a wall next to you. Lightly tap it, one or two fingers, keep yourself nice and stable. Whew. Okay, so whichever leg that you just stepped over with, we're gonna do a single leg deadlift. You're gonna have a slight bend in the stabilizing leg. From here, sink down, come up, whichever leg if you're not stabilizing on, you're gonna raise three times and squeeze. All right, let's go. So nice, stable deadlift. Stabilize, try to hover that foot, two, three. So this is one you can totally use a weight with if you want to. One, two, three. Now you'll be surprised because you'll feel that in your gluteus medius on your stabilizing leg when you raise up the other leg. Two, three, abductors, oh baby. Again, try not to curl those toes of the leg you're stabilizing on. Yes. Keep it up, guys. Woo, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna repeat on the other side. Oh, shaky, shaky. These are the only moves that we're quote unquote repeating. It's not really repeating because it's on the other side. Technically, we didn't do it on the other side yet. So, Yay! Three, two, one. Step to the side. Got that side lunge. Stabilize. Three, two, one. Calves, baby. Getting that calf. Woo! Three, two, one. Don't be afraid to swirl your arms around like a crazy person to find that center in your stability. Find it. Ooh. If you need a tap down in the middle, you can. That's totally okay. Just remember to breathe. That's another one. For, for stabilizing movements, a lot of people tend to hold their breath. Oh, we don't want to do that. Because oxygen is really good. <laughs> it's good for us. All right, nice job. So next up, we're going to stabilize on that same leg that just stepped to the side. So I'm going to step stabilize on that right leg from here. I'm going to sink down, come up, and I have those three abductions. Keep your core strong. And you want to think about not craning your head up or down. You want to keep it nice and neutral with that body. So I'm staying, I'm staying, I'm staying. Whee! Hinge from the hips. We're not leading with the arms, okay? So I like to have my hands on my hips sometimes to just remind myself. I'm a water bird in the garden. <laughs> I'm just one of those water birds, that's all. No big deal. Whoop. Oh my goodness. <laughs> one, two, three, five seconds. Keep going. Three, two, oh, my booty. My booty. Okay, next one. You don't have to do this with one, one leg, but I'm giving you the option. You're going to come down to an inchworm push up. Modification is doing that inchworm just like we did in the warm up and then come down to the knees and push up. All right, let's go. If you're doing one leg, make sure you alternate. Elbows are in. This is a tricep push up. So I like to call that chafing danger zone where the elbows are right next to that body as you sink down and you press up. Keep your core strong. 
but also keep your glutes strong. I have strong glutes. They call me strong glutes cat. <laughs> okay. All right. I've had worse names. Keep it up, guys. Four, three, two, and one. Yay! All right. So next up, we are going to go sink down. Try to get your butt below your knees. If you can't, you're going to come up. We're going to walk one, two, three, duck walk. Whichever leg's in front, you're going to come up and kick. Come down. One, two, three. Come up. Pretending I'm kicking, there's a wall. And come down. Three, up, kick, back down. Two, three. Notice how I heel toe it. Your quads should be burning from this. Up, and kick, and down. Now, if you're like, why is my heart rate coming up? This isn't cardio. Yeah, but it's legs. <laughs> legs are one of those that really raise our heart rate up high. Switchy, switchy. Four, three, two, and one. All right, so I'm gonna grab this bad boy. From here, tabletop, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're gonna go, you're gonna sink down with the scalps, press up, come neutral, and extend. Sink down, press up, and then extend. Okay, so we're depressing, we're extending, we're coming to neutral. So we are getting those scalpel muscles, getting nice mobility for them. Sink down, press up. Notice how I keep my arms straight. Sink down, press up. It might feel super weird at first. When we do that bird dog, that's awesome for stabilization. It's awesome to get that back sink down, bring it up. Woo! You should feel that on your shoulders. Now, if you didn't quite get that down right away, just rewind it. It's 45 seconds ago. Just rewind it, try it again. This is the story of a girl. All right, come up, and you're gonna come onto the balls of your feet. You're gonna lift up, lift up. We are getting the hamstrings here. Notice I'm on the balls of the feet, and not on the heels. Keep your hips up. Keep it up, guys. Kick. Woo! Keep that core strong, hips up. Whee! Keep rocking it, guys. Remember, this is your workout. So again, if you need to rewind because you don't quite get that move, we are here to learn. We are here to challenge ourselves in different ways. You know, we're here to do different movements for our bodies that maybe we've never tried before, which is actually pretty darn cool. <laughs> Keep it up, guys. Almost there. All right. Oh, I love that one. Okay, so next up, we're gonna come to the tiptoes. From here, you're gonna stabilize, keep the shoulder nice and strong. You're gonna kick out the leg that's closest to that hand. Come up, balance. Come down, kick. Come up, balance. If you can't get this down yet, because you're not quite there, what I want you to do is you're a squat, tap, squat, tap. You're still getting the quads, but if you can do this one with me, it's really, really fun. Just make sure your shoulder's engaged. It's taken. It's engaged. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> All right, keep going, guys. Kick. Bring it back. Ten seconds. Wow, workouts are so much warmer when you're wearing pants. <laughs> Four, three, two. All right, shoulders are next, but it's me, shoulders and core. Come into a plank, drag your knee in, kick up and twist the opposite side. Knee in, kick up, press through palms, fingertips, and twist. Nice yoga infusion here. If that's too much for you, just drive a knee in and come down. Drive a knee in, come down. If that's too much, come to the knees and hold this plank. Just make sure your hips aren't up like this. Keep it up, guys. Keep your core strong. 
up and twist. Bring it up and twist. Ooh, sweaty. <laughs> Keep going. Up, kick. Nice little stretch for our hammies too. And kick. All right. All right, so last few movements. A lot of abs here. I decided to move the camera closer so you can see better. Support your lower back. Reverse crunch. Come down, one knee in, other knee in. If you want to make it more challenging, you are going to not support your lower back and keep your hands off to the side. Now, if you do this, you have to, you have to make sure your back is flat against the ground. So that way we're not bringing in the lower back and we're not bringing in the hip flexors. Okay, you're using your core to flatten out your back. Keep it up. Again, if you cannot keep your back flat, do not do this variation. I want you to modify. Whew. Whew. Keep going. And bring it up. You notice how as I get more tired, I have to keep my feet up a little bit higher because I have to keep that back against the ground. All right, so ooh, next up, we're going to come down. Hands are going to be right here. Check your chin and your chest. You're going to do a little pangy, little penguin, reach up. Penguin, reach up. So we're getting those obliques when we do the penguins. Now, if you want to make it more challenging, really think about bringing your feet out farther so you have to reach more. And this is not a jerk movement, okay? It's not like this. No, you want it nice and controlled. Use your breath. Swivel, come back, press up. Swivel, come back, press up. Your neck should not be feeling this. So if you need to, put the tongue on the roof of your mouth. If that helps you. Again, back is nice and flat when we're doing this. We're here to strengthen that core. Whew. Whew. Nice job, guys. Pop it up. Whew. Breathe. Using that breath. All right. Next up, we're gonna do some rainbow abs. This is one of my, this is one of my favorites. So I'm gonna come down like I'm on the beach on my forearms. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it up, swivel over to the side, over. And make sure you try to point your toes to the direction you're going. If that's too much for you, bend the knees. Bend the knees. If that's too much for you, support your lower back, support your head, and move side to side. Ooh. Keep going, guys. I keep having dreams about sharks. <laughs> So funny. Probably because I keep wearing Gymshark. <laughs> or isn't it Shark Week this week or something? I think it is. Whew, I had a dream that there is this shark tank. Or no, the shark tank. There is this aquarium, and my friend's like, oh, don't worry, the sharks don't come over here. As soon as we jumped in, a shark bit my arm, and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> Three, two, one. Whew, okay. So next up is upper body mountain climber with a spider. If you like two moves left, you're going to come down, 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 up, up, drive your knee to the outside. All right, so we want to try to keep your hips as straight as you can. If you need to, you're going to push your hips forward like this, down, down, up, up, and you can take out the spider or come to a plank and do it, okay? So both of those are options for you if you need to modify. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure. You try to keep your hips as straight as you can. You can always widen out your feet for more stability as well. We only have one move after this. Yes. And remember, you can repeat this to make it a longer workout. Or you can go to another workout of mine. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Woo. Okay, so Superman pulse, guys. This is so important to work our lower back. We're also getting upper back, which is nice. So neck is neutral. We're gonna lift, extend, squeeze that upper back as you come back and come down. Make sure, again, your neck is neutral. Up, squeeze. I know this one isn't the most comfortable, but it is so important to add on 
to our routine because a lot of workouts that you might do might not focus on that lower back. And in order to have a nice balanced body, we got to make sure we strengthen it because it's part of that core. Whew. Up, pull, down. Up, out, pull, and down. Almost there. Up, up, and done. Ooh, I know how to make this be quiet right away. Kind of? Okay, that's so much better. Okay, guys, so go ahead and repeat this workout if you want. If you want to, though, we're actually going to cool it down together. So, yay! All right, guys, so let's cool it down together. We're gonna come down, grab your right knee in your chest and pull. Go ahead, add some ankle rotations. Whew. Breathe. You should feel some hip flexor on this right side. If you need to bend the left knee, and you can. Whew. Breathe. And keeping both hips on the ground, let's bring that knee to the outside. Because it's really easy to go like this. But again, try to, try to keep that hip on the down so that we get that that inner thigh and cross it over extend your right arm to the right look over that right shoulder breathe here Ooh. so as in my last live workout what i did was we had a little meditation at the end i, I really would love to start including that to pretty much all of my videos now <laughs> and bring it back and down. And last time, and I think it applies right now, so we're going to do the same one, is that I want you to think about a body part that you have maybe just been hmm, not at peace with, I want to say. Something that you always criticize yourself about. And I want you to think about that one thing. Or if you can't think about something about your body, maybe a trait of yourself that isn't actually bad, but you think it might be. Go ahead, bring that knee to the outside, open up that hip. Breathe. So I want you to think about that. And then cross it over that body. And then we'll meditate with it in just a minute. And let's bring it back to center. Whew. Go ahead, roll it over onto your tummy, hands by the chest. Press up, walk the hands forward, slight bend the elbows. Relax that face. So mine personally has pretty much always been my legs because that's where they hold most of my fat and come down. And that's genetics, that's my body type. And that's not a bad thing, that's just something, you know, that is my body. Big toes together, knees out wide, sit back, getting those hips move side to side. Whew. So an idea if you're stuck is I think about you know, all that my legs do for me. All these movements that we did today, I couldn't have done without my legs, you know? And all the adventures I go on. And go ahead, bring those knees together. Keep the knees where they are, right under the hips. Walk the hands forward, we're gonna get the shoulders, get on the fingertips, relax down to the ground. You can pulse it side to side, or up and down, whatever you want. Breathe. And go ahead, bring it back. We're going to crisscross applesauce. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna do a variation of cat pow, if you're familiar with that from yoga. So hands onto the knees. We're gonna go ahead, inhale, bring the chest through. Relax that face. Exhale, tuck the chin, the chest around the back, pull. Inhale, bring it through. Exhale, bring it in. Let's go two more. Inhale, bring it through. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Nice job, go ahead, shake it out. All right, meditation time. So what we're gonna do here is, um, you're gonna think about that body part or that trait. I want you to close your eyes, be open to this hopefully. Sit up straight. Think about that body part. And I want you to send some gratitude to it. And now I want you to send some love to it. And we're gonna take 
three big deep breaths. Think about all that does for you and it's a part of you. So let's take those breaths. Big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. Exhale. One more big inhale. Hold. Exhale. And go ahead, open your eyes, shake it out. Oh my goodness. So I hope you guys like that little meditation that I'm going to start including. You know, it might be a little bit different depending on what I feel like we all need or maybe what I feel like I'm going through. So I know that I'm not, oh, I know I'm not alone in it and that I know some people might be going through it too. But before we go, we do have to sparkle because that's like a thing and I forgot it the last time. So <laughs> luckily one of you guys told me. So let's have our hands in front, pull the shoulders in, big inhale. And exhale, oh, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We did it! You guys did it! Thank you so much for joining me. Um, a few things, if you could like this video before you go, it helps out my channel so much, as well as writing a comment, even if it's just a rar or an emoji. Both of those things help my video out so much so they reach more people, and YouTube sees that as more activity, and they're like, I'm gonna show this to more people. Um, let me know how you guys liked the meditation at the end, if you wanna see more of that. I will be doing more vlogs uh, for like mental health um, coming up, so I hope you guys enjoy that. If you have any requests, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to try to tackle them and try to help you out and to cope with them in healthy, happy ways because you're not alone and whatever you're going through, you're not alone. Um, what else is there? Oh, if you do want to support my channel, there are a few ways that you can do this. Uh, there's a link down in my description. It says support my channel, take you there. Anything and everything helps. If something, if it's not available to you to give monetarily, I totally understand and that's totally okay. I'm glad that you can still keep away with me, but you could uh, share my channel on whatever social media you have. Again, I want to reach as many people as possible. We just hit 28,000. I am so stoked. I'm so stoked. I think that's so cool. So yeah, let's keep growing. All right, see you soon.